No Man is Free Who Cannot Control Himself by Pythag Pythagoras. Pythagoras? Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Fuck. Oh, shit. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I was gonna say boys and girls, but if you're a boy and a girl, then you're too young to be watching this. What the hell are you doing? Go do your homework or some shit. Welcome to another episode of Catherine. We are here with my friends Johnny, Orlando, and Toby. Right, that's your name? Toby, yes. And, uh, where we last left off, I don't remember. Something about, uh, oh yeah, I remember now. Um, it was Steve, motherfucker Steve called us. So, like, Catherine's law, he's all like, Catherine's my girlfriend. And, yeah, that's it. So, we're gonna start things off, speaking of Lindsay and Martha, because they're creepy as shit. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Yes, I would. Do you see yourself as a dog? Do you see yourself as a cat? What? I mean... <laughs> what? I mean, I am... I am a loyal person. But for sake of bullshit... Let's say cat. Meow meow, motherfucker. Damn right, cats are evil. Do you know about ants? Ants? Like the bug? I hear they're messengers of witches. They come out of the mouths of the men who wasted away to death. What? I thought that was just a rumor. It's three days until the time of freedom. What are you talking about? I gotta put my fucking TV audio up because I can't hear shit. Damn it, I hope when they re-release this game they fucking make a make a fucking an, an audio option so I can so we can fix this shit. This game's just the audio. Audio on this game isn't the greatest. Speak about audio. Change the song. Trisha. Uh I don't even remember what songs I played. Uh how about this? No. Let's not do that. Never mind. I'm trying to hear the music. I can't. I really can't hear it. Alright, well, uh... The Golden Show. Fuck it. Because that's an amazing song. Dun, 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 nah, 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 no. All right. What do you got to say to me, Archie? You don't look so good. Todd, my boss, is really annoying. As I'm sure you know. He's always telling stupid jokes. But even at work, he sticks up for my mistakes. Never asked him to do that. He's a kind man. He's so stupid, though. He doesn't even know that his wife's sleeping around with another man. How are you doing that? I'm horrible. I should just die. I steal, I ruin things, throw them away, and run away. I'm incapable of love. Did something happened? What's your mother like? What? She left when I was in high school. She met another man. Maybe we're the same then. How? We both... We just wanted to love our mothers. Huh. Let's talk about something else. Don't be so nice to me, or I'll just steal your girlfriend. Get away from me. I'm gonna leave. Alright, the moment he said fucking Todd, I thought he was gonna be like, My boss, Todd, he's dead. I would have been like, what the fuck? So, I'm guessing that we saved Todd. Todd is alive and well. Let's check our phones. What we got? Congratulations! You survived the quadrangle. Fuck you. Fucking ice cubes. Jesus. Well, see you later, Archie. I guess tonight's the night where we decide if you live or die. But just to confirm my suspicions, let's check the news. Now, continuing our coverage of the mysterious weakening deaths. Richard Davis, age 30, has been found dead today. 30? Wow. It's even younger than I am. <sighs> That's all the updates we have on this. Alright, so yep. Nobody else died. We're good. Todd's great. He's doing fine. He just hasn't shown up to the bar in a while. Um, you know what? While I was sitting at the bar, I might as well just drink, drink my rum and cola right here. Just, mm, just sip it up. Delicious. 
What's going on here? <sighs> Would she actually be cheating on me? Can't honestly say there's no possibility. Come on, Vincent, drink it all up. Mmm, delicious, right? Tastes like sorrow. As you see that finished glass. It's said that chugging alcohol isn't good for you, but sometimes it's necessary. The cocktail Nikolashka is an example of this. It uses cognac, lemon, coffee, and sugar. But first, you put the lemon, coffee, and sugar in your mouth. Then you take a big swig of cognac. Of course, you can't even talk until you drink it all. It's necessary to chug it. But cognac contains 40% alcohol, so those with low tolerances should not attempt this. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Thanks for the trivia. And what would you like now? I would like to have sake, please. Sake. Coming right up. A nice steaming cup of hot sake. Can I tell you the rest of yesterday's story? Oh, sure. You're up for it. I think I was at the part where the ballerina suddenly had many enemies. She started to be harassed. Eventually, an entire family was killed. What? She took her own life after that. It's the truth. Oh, wow. It's not your fault, bro. Why did I say bro? Why the fuck did that make me evil? I told you about that legend that if you survive you'll be granted any one wish it's just a rumor right it might be a ridiculous fairy tale but right now I feel like I've got to believe in something if I'm going to go on if I'd never written that article she'd still be alive I know what my wish would be I'd change the past save her I was such a fool but that's why I'm hung up on this stupid legend go ahead and laugh if you like it's not funny. You got me. Ah, some good medicine. Oh wait, now this one's a picture. Eat your cake, what? Eat the piece of cake I gave you or it's gonna get stale. I know we, could we couldn't talk much yesterday. I've been busy with work and it's hard for- uh, What the fuck, I can't read, damn it. And it's hard to make time. I might not be able to pick up the phone sometimes. I'll give you a call soon. Hmm. Sorry, I've been busy too. You surprised me when you came over so suddenly. Please don't come over without calling me. <laughs> That's so fucked up of a, of a reply. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, let's be, a, <laughs> be an asshole. Actually, I have something I wanted to ask you. S is work really keeping you so busy? Wow, Vincent, what a fucking... <laughs> Damn what a fucking asshole you are. You're like, are you sure you're not fucking another guy? Uh, that's not the way I meant it. Nah. Maybe I'm just being weird. Nah. Actually, I have something I want to ask you. I'll tell you more later. I need to thank some more before I do, though. Uh, sure. Alright, um, oh yeah, I also got the other one. Shit, I forgot about it. Here's something that'll make you feel better. Well, is it working? Oh, sorry for sending the last one while you were at work. I hope I didn't get you in any trouble. Anyway, take care. We will be right back. Got some business to tend to. Some manly business. Like washing our face. Stage is the clock tower. Quit wasting your time and come on over. What the? All right. Let's see what we got. Spin the wheel. <laughs> I think I gotta go to the hospital. Anyways. 
make sure to go to hospital if it if it lasts for more than three hours. That's uh damn. All right. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's go speak to Daniel here. That's your name, right, Daniel? Yeah, Daniel and Anna. What do you want, Daniel? Don't be like that. You're awful kind to of Vincent. Why don't you hook up with him? I can't be with you, right? So everyone wins. Yeah, it's no use being with a man who will just become somebody else's. Uh, hey, hey, guys. <sighs> if you're gonna get hurt, then why did you bring this up? Do you have any idea how I feel when I buy my clothes? I have to save everything I make just to buy handbags and clothes that won't embarrass you when we're seen together. I studied economics and etiquette every day just so I wouldn't embarrass you at an important dinner. But it's all pointless, because no matter how much I better myself, it'll never be good enough for some people. Anna. It was inevitable that we'd break up from the beginning. <sighs> I'm sorry I never let you give me any presents. I had to do something to keep my dignity. <sighs> um, is that what you really want? <sighs> this isn't about what we want or don't want. I mean, it kind of is about what you want and what you don't want. Oh, wait, fuck! I completely forgot. Shit. <laughs> Reply. <laughs> that's already you can't keep doing this. This is crossing the line. Nah. <laughs> nice. Did you dress up just to take this? We only first met a couple days ago. Well, whatever. See ya. Wow. Don't go overboard, okay? You're such an asshole, Vincent. <laughs> Alright. Hey, is it true that you have a tummy ache? You're not lying to me or hiding anything from me, are you? I'm not lying. Don't doubt me. Doesn't matter. I just can't see you today. Sometimes I just want to be alone. I'll feel better soon. See you later. Uh... Hell, I'm in the bathroom right now. Alright, we are back from bullshit happening. People interrupted me and shit. Calling my house phone for, for bullshit. Okay, where the fuck was I? I was, um... Shit, I was, uh... Talking to Catherine, yeah. Um... I'm not lying. Doesn't matter. Um, shit. We're gonna go with I'm not lying. I wanna be with you too. Come on, cheer up. I can't help it if I'm sick. We don't have to see each other every day. I wish I could. Wow, Vincent, what the fuck? He's like, he's like, I wish I could see you. <laughs> Starts crying. Bye. Good night, Catherine. I'm so evil. I have no idea what ending I'm gonna get <laughs> for doing all this shit. Alright, uh... Who are we gonna go talk to? We're gonna go talk to our friends. Sorry, I need to take a whiz. Well, fuck you too, Toby. Damn. Hey, how's Toby doing at work? He's fine. I can trust him to customize a bike without watching over him. You should spend more time tinkering with chicks, not bikes. He needs to hook up with somebody good for him. Someone besides Erica. You're so good with a little guy. How about sharing some of that love with us? Yeah, right. Alright, um... First, let's take a drink. And then we're gonna speak to Orlando. I'm covering up my own infidelity. She talks the big talk now, but Erica had a lot of problems back in the day. Remember that time she was hurt by a relationship and disappeared? Huh? huh? What happened? <laughs> I remember that. You know, people were saying she was dead, but then she just popped up out of nowhere. I never knew Erica had some trauma like that in her past. But I'll fill every hole in her heart. 
I'll fill every hole in her heart. Hey, I'm serious here. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I'll fill every hole in her heart. <laughs> Fucking asshole, Orlando. Come on. Jesus. Hear about it. A strange rumor here. All right, drink the rest of that sake. We gotta get our trivia. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about Japanese sake. Now that you've emptied your sake cup, Japanese sake uses many different words and brand names, but the most commonly used is Masamune. Why has Masamune been such a common name since olden times? Masamune could be a person's name, but the origin actually does not come from a person. An old sake maker found a phrase, Binzai Seishu. Though spelled differently, Seishu can also mean sake. But the character for Seishu is also read Masamune, and the term stuck. Wait, all this history for a lousy pun? Ugh. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty? And that was the trivia for tonight. I wish I had a voice like that. Yeah. I would like whiskey. Whiskey. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Okay, I'll be right back. Here it is. Hey, Erica. Erica, out of the four of us, who would you rather marry? Well, I thought Vincent would be the guy who'd take the best care of me. Past tense? Orlando and Johnny don't look like they'd love me. Ding, ding, ding. Which means... Uh, you, I guess. You're cute and passionate. What, for reals? Yeah, yeah, congrats. Hey, hey you guys jealous? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Orlando. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Jesus. All right. <laughs> so hilarious. What the fuck? Catherine isn't cheating on you. Why are you even doubting her? Who knows what's actually happening? I don't even know. You're ignoring your own sins in the first place. But, but then why don't you break up? Huh. Well, if you're cheating and you think she's cheating, that's the logical choice. <sighs> Dude, don't just sit there getting angry. I'm not. <sighs> Sorry. I'm just tired. Damn. Johnny, that's how you feel? Johnny on the spot? That's how you fucking feel? <sighs> Catherine, he mentioned wasn't her? What's going on here? Yesterday, I told my mom about Erica. Huh? Wait, what? Yeah, I found the one. Um, you don't say. Well, uh, don't go overboard. Sure thing. I feel so bad for you, Toby. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Can she actually be cheating on me? Can't honestly say there's no possibility. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about whiskey. Now that you've emptied your glass. Gasoline is liquid, which is volatile and highly flammable. So it's just like alcohol, isn't it? Gasoline is fuel for automobiles. So would they run on alcohol? Actually, in a race in South Africa, there was a car that ran close to 200 miles on whiskey. It seems like such a waste to run a car on delicious whiskey. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty. All right. Still? Yes, I do need my drink. I need my trivia. Drinking gives me wisdom. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. beer. Okay, I'll be. Here it is. Thank you, Erica. Or Eric. Wherever the hell you go by nowadays. Catherine. Did something happen? I hope I'm imagining things. Oh, yeah. I'm meeting with a friend tomorrow, so if you want to call me, do it in the afternoon. Aren't you busy with work, too? Try to take it easy, okay? Um, let's see. Does it matter? I have a lot on my mind, too. Can we stop talking about this? I'm tired. I have a lot on my mind, too. I'm gonna drink a little more here, so I'll talk to you later. 
Bye. Man, Vincent, why are you such an asshole? Alright. Who else is in the bar? Uh, most people are here. We can go talk to Boss. I just realized. What the fuck happened to my music? God damn it. Alright. Daniel, you got anything else to say? Now nah, you guys are just mad at each other? Okay, what the fuck? I got another one. Oh. I just want to be with you, Vincent. That's all. But you say the But you say these things that don't make any sense to me. It worries me. Do you think I'm the bad guy here? Yeah. I didn't say you were a bad guy. Just because you are a bad guy doesn't mean you are a bad guy. <laughs> Man, I love Rocket Ralph. It was a good movie. And you're starting to bug me. Damn, Vincent, you're an asshole. That's fucked up. This isn't about one of us being right or wrong. In fact, I'm the bad guy. But I can't see you tonight. I'm sorry if I made you mad. Come on, don't be mad. Nah. Don't be mad at me. I do have a job, you know. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? So, what the fuck? This is like the longest reply that he's ever had. So, that's that. See ya. You don't need me tonight. Stop causing trouble. What? Vincent, sometimes I don't know where your fucking mind is at, to be honest. Speak to me, boss. comes to choosing a partner, the way men see things can't compare to the way women I hear they even distinguish by smell, too. I wonder. I thought I was a sweet-scented middle-aged man. But Eric just said I have old man smell. Like I care. Yeah, anyway. As I was going to say, the hunter in relationships is actually the female. Female moose have males fight each other to win her courtship. When I saw that documentary last night, I was on the edge of tears for the poor husband. Maybe you can't be too careless for too long. That's some, that's some wisdom you're giving me right there. I'll drink to that. Mm, I'm covering up my own. Alright, um... I think Boss has more to talk about, right? Women are hunting every day for better prey. If you take too long, you might be exchanged for the prey next to you, you know? Hmm. Thinking about it, what a strange rumor here. My alcohol tolerance is so high that I can't afford to get drunk anymore. Excuse me. You got me. Bye, Daniel. You bitch ass. The mysterious meter. Have you noticed the meter that appears when you make choices? Sometimes hard to miss, right? It's only been like half the fucking game. Get the hell away from me. You fucking tutorial text. Send those in the beginning of the game, not the fucking end. Oh shit, Morgan's here. Hell yeah. Speak to Morgan. How you doing? I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you too. I was on duty early today because of the incident. The victims are all men who are younger than me. I feel so bad for those young guys. When someone like me is still alive, do you believe in an afterlife? Um, yeah, I would say, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. If there is an afterlife, that means that death isn't the end of everything, and I want there to be an end. I'm only living now because I have something I need to do. What's that? To find the criminal who shot my wife. I kill him with my own hands. My wife is dead, so he'll die. And then I'll die. That's when everything will finally disappear. Were you thinking of dying? Well, I'm certainly not good at living. Sorry, but I'm going home. I just came for a little drink before bed. Alright. Well, that's cool, Morgan. I mean, 
besides the whole uh, dying part and everything. Um, what, what, what are you up to, Erica? Jenny looks upset. Huh? He always looks like that. Did something happen? Uh, I don't know. You want me to ask? No, never mind. Probably just me. I think Erica is the only person that we talk to that doesn't make time pass. Have you seen the news? A lot of people are dying. Everyone here looks a little on edge. They're blowing it out of proportion. They'll find out what's happening soon. Yeah. Thanks. Um. You guys got anything more to say over here? After I drink my beer? Mm. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about beer. Now that you've emptied your mug. You've heard of beer belly, but did you know that beer itself doesn't make you fat? Beer is relatively low in calories and makes you urinate more, so the calories don't build up, making it hard to get fat. Yet since sugar is required to break down alcohol and beer foam makes you hungrier, when these things combine, you get the munchies and voila, beer belly. And that was the beer trivia for tonight. He said, yo, you get the fucking munchies. You still want a drink? <laughs> no, I'm good, Erica. Good for tonight. So much alcohol in my system. I I think I'm going to just, do, you know, go into a comatose state. <sighs> Sweet breeze. I think it's time to go home. My head hurts. Maybe I've been playing too much Rapunzel. Hey, I got the top score on that right now. Once I figured out the trick, yeah, pretty far. You guys really like that game. You don't get why it's so fun, eh, Toby boy? I mean, it's me. After I got the hang of it, it's just so addictive. And you're the kind of guy who won't give up till you beat it, huh? Well, isn't everyone like that? Uh, I always quit in the middle. <laughs> hey, look at my YouTube channel. I always quit in the middle. Every, every fucking playthrough, never finished. No, I'll never give up. Yeah. You took life one step at a time until you started dating Catherine, didn't you? Uh, shut up already. Uh, uh, it's late. Anyway, I have to set things straight tomorrow. Vincent, we're going home now. Um, careful. All right, I'll see you later. Huh. All right. Well, I guess, uh, Catherine does. Oh, you don't have to go home. <laughs> Trophy! Yes! <laughs> uh, I forgot. I was playing this on a, um, I'm playing this on an account that never had Catherine played on it before. You, Johnny, and Orlando have all made women cry. Well, maybe I have. And maybe Orlando, too. But not Johnny. Not true. He said he told his girlfriend that he has no intention of marrying her. How can a man tell a woman that? It's like saying, I don't love you. If that happened to me, I'd disappear all over again. Oh, I remember that. You just up and vanished. Stop saying I vanished. I was crashing at a friend's place. I remember that you guys were all worried sick. Of course we were. We honestly thought you were dead. To be young and thoughtless can be forgiven. But if you're an adult... Stop tormenting yourself all over again. Damn, Erica. You still got more to talk about, Erica? Shit. So you guys really need to learn how a girl's heart works. A girl is always hoping someone will come and sweep them away. I'd be more convinced if a woman was telling you this. Ahem, sounds like somebody wants to pay their tab right now. So, I'm not sure if I said this earlier or not in a playthrough, but uh, Erica's actually a dude. There is a uh, dick between them legs. So, yeah. I feel bad for Toby. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it for the night. I think there's nothing else we can do besides play like Rub Hunzel and shit. Um, but, I'm not gonna do that. Payday isn't for a while. What do you mean payday isn't for a while? Motherfucker, you pay like what, every month? That sucks. You're going home? Be really careful, okay? Uh, yeah. Don't you think that everyone's acting 
I don't know, strange lately? Not just you. I'm getting worried. You worried about those rumors? You shouldn't get yourself so worked up about that stuff. I don't believe in any of that. I'll see you.